my job is to really come up with uh, concepts and ideas for new exhibitions, look at new industry sectors, and in this case we've come up with the Recruitment Agency Expo. We felt that this industry needed a central forum for the whole industry to get together to see the latest developments in the industry and uh, interact with each other. I think we look at a trade show because it gives us a massive opportunity to be face to face with um, the managers and the, the directors of agencies. And we're going to have two, two and a half thousand people I, I suppose over the next two days. It's difficult to get that kind of exposure uh, any other way. I came to the recruitment expo because um, I knew there'd be a lot of media suppliers here and a lot of payroll companies. Visiting the expo is very important to me because I've just started this apprenticeship. So I really need a better insight on retail marketing. The amount of people you get through the doors, it's a free event. So people just come every day, all day, and there's so many seminars going on. Good morning everyone. Can I just say I'm quite impressed that this many people have actually managed to turn up for a session first thing in the morning called Big Data. Uh, I'm Ben Stoneham. Uh, the company I founded, I represent, uh, is called NowWeComply.com. So I'm going to talk about how you can shape messages to create original content for yourselves. I'm really focusing here on social media being used in a business context. It's so interesting to these trainings and seminars, um, just been so helpful. Uh, particularly interested in content and social media, so Bill Borman, going to check him out uh, a little bit later. The is actually active on LinkedIn. The people that I know who come here are all buyers and they tend to only come out once or twice a year. So it's the one opportunity when you can get your details in front of people. We were offered a, a chance to come and present at this wonderful exhibition and meet everyone, so it's been fantastic. We've had very good footfall. Um, what's interesting, I think, is that there are representatives here from a wide range of industries. For us at Jobsite, it's all about the conversation. And you've got so many people from the recruitment industry, so many agencies represented here and professional bodies. It's a great chance to meet people and chat about the issues of the day. Welcome to uh, the start of day two of the Recruitment Agency Expo. We start by asking you guys a question, is are the good guys winning at the moment? First of all, could I just have a show of hands as to who we do have in the room? I think it's important for the REC to be here just because it's such a mix from the industry. These things are brilliant because as much as the industry is going more online, there's a lot of phone calls, online meetings, it's great here to put names to faces. It's our first year, um, we've been asked on several occasions to attend so we saw it as an opportunity to increase our brand awareness, basically. we definitely come to this event again. We've had the opportunity to meet a large number of our existing members, in addition to prospective new members. just want to say I've really enjoyed the day here today, because I'm a member of TEAM. I own my own small recruitment business, and it's worked extremely well for me, the networking opportunity. What we've created is a, a, an event, a national event, where they can get together um, um, under one roof, uh, attend free seminars, look at all the stands, see who the suppliers are and, and really cover a lot of ground in a couple of days.